Hey YouTubers, 95 Speed GTA here. Uh, today I'm going to do a YouTube video on my new purchase. I had just purchased my first portable air conditioner. This is a Sharp CV P13PX portable air conditioner. Now not only is it a portable air conditioner, but it's a dehumidifier and it's an air purifier. These air conditioners generally go between four and six hundred dollars. I opted to get the top of the line model, um, opposed to models such as Danby. Um, Sears had a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of models, but I really did some research, and um, this and a couple other models happens to be you know, one of the best um, portable air conditioners. And this really does the job. It has automatic louvers. That open up when you start it, and it comes with a window kit, which I totally did something different, which is uh, way more efficient than the window kit. Um, it comes with a window kit and a long, uh, it looks like a dryer hose. Um, let me tell you one thing: if you're in the market, or if you already have one of these portable air conditioners. Don't get rid of the hose, but the hose generates a lot of heat, and sometimes a 13,000 BTU portable air conditioner will then be a 10 or a 9,000 BTU portable air conditioner because it's constantly removing the heat of its exhaust. Um, one thing that I did, which I, I'm going to make another video with pictures, is um, I actually ran this into the wall with an insulated pipe. You could, you can't even feel the heat coming out of this thing. Um, and if you're thinking, you know, why put it into the wall? Well, this wall doesn't run into anywhere. Um, well, it doesn't, what I'm trying to say is this wall leads to a crawl space with a fan that pushes out hot air. So pretty much what I'm doing is uh, I'm just utilizing the crawl space by pushing my hot air from inside my room through the AC into there. Um, this is a pretty good setup and if anybody has the same setup as I do, this, uh, this house, well my mom's house, this happens to be a cape, an extended Cape Cod and this is the dog house right here where I'm standing with my bed right in it and on each side of my bed are um, parts of the crawl space which go from here all the way to the other side of the house. Um, up here in, in, in the ceiling is actually more crawl space and uh, in here out the window on that roof right there is our little attic which used to be the garage. So that's where it's going. Was uh, This was the insulating foam that I used uh, to mount it on there and this is the insulating tape that I use. I wrapped it a couple of times and uh, I don't know if your local uh, hardware store will sell it but that's what it is. Also these portable air conditioners um, if you're in a very humid climate um, some of them have buckets some of them don't. This actually for, for the air conditioner this happens to be a bucketless design um, but since this has a dehumidify option, um, one thing I read about these things is um, it'll dehumidify first um, while it's doing you know its job on the AC. So this fills up quick, and then these three lights start flashing, and then you got to drain it. So what I did was, for 70 bucks, you could go to your local hardware store and you can get a pump. And this pump switches on when it gets full and drains it out and uh, switches off when it's drained. And this was about 70 bucks. It's made by Flowtech. And um, it comes with a hose and uh, plug. And um, you never have to worry about draining it. And it looks just like a window air conditioner, except it's a lot stronger. Um, it looks a lot better to have all your windows empty and um, not to have that portable, uh, portable hose sticking out the window that looks terrible. All right, so here ha here's how I did it, and here's the process. First, as you can see in this picture right here, this is the exhaust vent. You have to measure it, 
and I put a gasket around there because I'm about to put something on there um, pretty much like an exhaust pipe so you got to fit it perfectly so no warm air gets out into your room so I think that particular one was about five and a half inches or six inches I'm not too sure but okay here's your exhaust pipe which is actually an exhaust for a furnace that goes out to your chimney I double I double uh, well not double insulate I, I put a double gasket on it as you can see and um, that's gonna connect to the gasket from the previous picture and it's gonna form a perfectly good seal so that's what it looks like assembled and double sealed next we're gonna have to make room for the uh, insulation material so we have to measure out because that's a pretty tight fit right there for this model so we're gonna measure after measuring we're gonna put the insulating tape on and then we're gonna we're gonna mount it to the wall here's what it looks like and this is what it looks like put into the wall absolutely perfect and no heat uh, no heat comes out nothing and this is a really really good idea next thing you don't want to do is spend a little bit of money this is a bucket list design portable air conditioner so I spent 70 bucks and I got something called a condensation pump what this does is when the reservoir of this pump gets full it transfers the liquid that's in it to another place so what I did was um, I took the line and I put it out my window and you don't necessarily have to do that you can run it to your bathroom you can run it to wherever you want it to go but I wanted to make this portable air conditioner a hundred percent self uh, self-sufficient and like I don't need to do anything with it so I did that and also finally I made um, if you live in the area where um, you you know we because we I'm in I'm in New York so we have winters, um, it's not permanently affixed to the wall, because that wall goes right to a, a um it goes right to a crawl space, so what I did was I bought a little extra insulation and as you could see right here, um or wherever I'm at, at the slide there's a cap at the wall so I could actually store and put away the portable air conditioner, but um doing doing it this way and also getting that con condensation pump is one of the best things you can do you never have to worry about draining it moving it or anything it's just continuous operation throughout the whole summer